is brought to you by Castle Milk Stout. Savor your richness. The opinions expressed within this series are solely of the individuals and do not reflect the opinions and beliefs of the Castle Milk Stout brand. Please be advised, the following program contains views which may be triggering for sensitive viewers. Maponga, it's difficult for me to call him a bishop. I will not sit here and listen to a toddler mm -mm. teaching mm -mm. me, hold on. I will mm -mm. not sit here and listen to a toddler. Mm -mm. You run a church, yeah. but I have a problem with you running yeah. a church. Pro you're, you're proving to me that you're a false prophet because you don't know me. Oh, Gentlemen. Jesus. Do you know what you call why twelve? Because one nigger in daughter Naya, I just come by Nia over to take a gas. Hi, my name is Rory Sang Tandega Tandekiso, and I am a born again Christian. My name is Solomon Izang Ashams, and I'm a Christian. I'm Jackie Pamote, I am a social activist, and I am an author. My name is Maponga J. I'm a graduate of Andrews University, Solosi Campus. I've functioned as a minister for the past 33 years. I think that statement, uh, I think the doc threw me off when he said, you know, the statement of. Uh, God Twilad. I don't know how God Twilad as if he is the creator of everything and the maker of everything. Um, so according to my faith, uh, there's no foundings in, in, in what he said. And I think an irresponsible statement to make in a conversation like this, um, where he's not explaining what he means and he's not sensitive to the fact that that's not word and fact. Where's the That's also the language of any Ugtwala. sacrifice That is why in correct if you believe in in Christianity, stay in your lane. Don't disturb others because that is why I also believe in there because I was born with what Jesus is coming. Even now, he's still on his way. Absolutely. Fake prophets. Absolutely. We have fake prophets. We have fake prophets. We have fake prophets. Pella, yeah, it's not with yeah. no 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 ngeka sithanda ikhuluma not with must bona umthe prophet athi nasikwazi umlandeli masi mbone ikhuluma ngendlela athi lesi nomoya ngawo siyakwazi ukumbona ukuthi uyayenza lento noma kayenza bese sithuli inkinga isuke yamoshe kakuphi ikuthi wonke umuntu ufuna ikontent i don't mind someone's business you cannot hear me on social media commenting ukuthi eh ukatlego bekathi bekenze ukuthi no even if ngiyakubona ukuthi yaphuma offhand do you feel that there are people who've taken black spirituality in the way that you understand it and have used it, uh, like you're saying, on social medias to push their own agendas, much like fake prophets and pastors who will stand in front of churches and lie and manipulate people using the word to get them to do what they want. Do you feel that these two entities, we've got groups of people who do that? Too much. Yeah. This side they are. Yeah. They are corrupt. Why Absolutely. am I saying pastors are corrupt? We've got pastors. Tina says we do pastor. Ufani langa pus. Akshuma ele anga pusi abe imvunje ngos. Ba ya pusa ba zama drugs ma be sonto in be shuma ele they are high. Ba buga ba zalen ba tibo na spirit they are sweating. Aba sweat ba go on drugs. They go parties. Ba amba u pastor alone. We are confused. Egu munto ofiga sonto na sal. Balala na manto mbazani, all that. Mm -hmm. But it ain't a yam. Asinga ba confuse abantu. We are the mirror. See, see, asinga. Abantu ba funda a lot from us. Yes, sir. So now, if we start saying, you are wrong, you are right, people will get confused. Absolutely. Stay in your lane. Aga musuk atek. If I may ask a question, who are you in? Are you a pastor or are you a journalist or what? What are you? Tell me, define yourself. Why are you always talking bad about others, destroying others? Because if you are a Christian, you don't have to be destroying other people. 
It all depends on what Remember, you Remember, imagine if your if your your father is being attacked on social media, how would you feel? Because me in a personal sis and mas na yaka ngazi uthi ungibona ku social media. But you attack on social media, you attack you attack the culture yam for what? Just because I go to church? Is it wrong for me to go to church? I've not been, am I not supposed to go to church? I've not been attacking you on social you media. You are attacking right? me. I have been analyzing Why are you your analyzing? Practice. Why shouldn't What's I analyze wrong with your that? practice? Why, why are you analyzing? It's my right to do that. It's your right. Why, yes. why is it not wrong? It's not a sin. It's not criminal. The government would not the police would not arrest me because I do that. Solomon was arrested during lockdown for a lot of things that he was doing and saying that were related to church indiscretions. That's all I'll say. You have to allow me to have my freedom of speech and to tell people But what I think. But don't interfere, don't interfere right? with whatever. I don't have a problem with you. I'm not going to attack you as a person. And that's the last thing I would do. But what you do, the works that you do, no, I would analyze it. None it's none of your business. My view of him is really of someone who wants to win from both sides of the coin. He wants to win from Africa for spirituality, he wants to gain from it, and he also wants to gain from Christianity in itself. Black Conversations is brought to you by Castle Milk Stout. The arrogance of Islamic religions, and the arrogance of all these foreign religions, it is their lack of admittance of their own mischief. Mm. And when they do rituals, it is acceptable. Mm. When Africans do ritual, it is demonic. Mm -hmm. The whole biblical text is rituals. Mm. From Abraham, as you mentioned. Yeah. To date, people are practicing rituals. They drink transubstantiation. You get the wine, you get the bread. bread. Yeah. And then I mean, the pastor it, picks it up and say, this is the body of Jesus. This is the blood of Jesus. Receive and accept his body and drink his blood. So Christianity is founded on human sacrifice. Christianity sees nothing wrong with that. They go to church every week and they're putting tithes and offerings, which are sacrifices. Why are you giving the offerings? Because I want my child to get a job. Why are you giving the sacrifice? Because I want my, my marriage to work. But Christianity then wants to run around and say, our, our human yeah, sacrifice, it is superior. You are doing it wrong. Ours is better because ours is Jesus-based. Yours is devil-based. And then I look around as an academician and I said, no, put these things together. The desire of both groups is the same. How they access it, whether they access it or not, it's a conversation for another day. Absolutely. But all of them are accessing the altar in faith mm. that I will do this and it will work for me. And if you have faith, it kicks in and it works for you. Mm. If you have faith this side, it works and it kicks for you. Who then has got the prerogative and the right of standing outside and say, you, what you are doing is wrong. You said the arrogance of Christianity several times, you know, and, and to be honest with you. You want me, no way? You want no, no, me, no, no. I've never seen let, African let people running a campaign let me go. to win people who are, who, who are in Christianity you see, to come back to Christ. The same way you are accusing. It's you Christians who always put tents and crusades no. and what and the, what, and you want to call people the, the, out the, of the themselves same way. so that they come and join you. you. No. But this, this, my friend here, he put, he put, he advertises himself. He's actually one of the number one marketers that I know. I've come across his stuff. So you must be careful because close home here, there's somebody that, that really projected that. But you, if you are saying the arrogance of Christianity, But yeah, problem, Christians right? are humans and they are imperfect. They've made mistakes. They said things Absolutely. about other religion that they shouldn't have. Absolutely. But you see, this, some Christians would also accuse traditional, like African spirituality believers, that they have done the same thing. When I become a Christian, from my family, and I don't want to go and do the rituals that the off. family normally does, you become an out, out, outcast. You become a black sheep of the family. I think he has lost his, his, his path of journalism professionally, and he has made himself a referee of Christianity, which he knows very little about. He, is, he claims he's a pastor in some spaces, but he's a journalist, a freelance journalist. I worked with Solomon from as long time ago as 2004 when I was doing the Parable magazine. I won't say much, but I took Solomon on my shoulder for years when he was starting up and one morning he woke up and he felt he was grown up enough and woke up with a knife on my back. 
dragged each other to courts. The case is still standing. And I was looking for his address. I was shocked, actually, to find him here. Uh, for many years, Christianity uh, took a stance of demonizing um, African culture, mm. right? And like you said, there's African spirituality, then there's African culture. And there they was, I'm not going to sit here and say that the Christian community has at no point uh, taken a stance where it's been seen as superior or better or more progressive. It definitely has. But I think that uh, is there good in us acknowledging that no one seems better than the other if you don't believe. So I can't sit here and say Christianity is better if your belief is not leaning towards that because in order for you to live within Christianity... But I'm not going to let you go off so easily. We are in a space on this conversation of uh, Castle Milk Stout to explore yeah. what is blackness, what is African spirituality. Mm. Because you, you guys say Impepo is wrong. I woke up to the Catholic Church, I find them... The whole place is full of, full of smoke. You say this must not eat this. I find you eating that. You say this are not baptizing in the wrong way. I find you Christians, because Sango must take the person to the water and they baptize them so that they can have the spirit. I'm seeing Jose. I come to the church, they're also baptizing so the person can be possessed by the Holy Spirit. So what is this possession story that is all about? Christians want to be possessed by the Holy Ghost. Ancestral people want to be possessed by their ancestors. But there's a hell lot of possession going on here. What possesses you? I'm actually really interested. What possesses me is yes. a spirit of knowledge and understanding. Ah. Mm -hmm. You see. I'm a watcher from the future, living with you in the present, with solutions from the past. It, I've never I heard that before. I want to make sense yeah. of I've never all heard this that nonsense. Before. <laughs> I want to make sense of all this nonsense. So you were just sitting there watching... I am that guy watching you guys performing. So, no, so, so you are nonsense. nonsense. I am nonsense. nonsense. Watching <laughs> and the fans so you can to... watch. I am watching a match that... Yeah, I, right. I, the the match of a lifetime. Uh, and you're just throwing okay. money. Daddy, 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 daddy. Whoa, daddy, daddy. Sorry, sir. No, I need to take it. Me, I need to take it. Yeah. Uh-huh. Because the tata is into young Ali, per se. Because we are in defense mode. How can we in defense mode? 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 At no point did I bring any attack towards what your practice and your belief is. Where you and I maybe see differently is that I choose to make Christ the center of my faith, right? I have never said you are crazy for speaking to dead people. No. Me. I've never called you out of your name. In this conversation, forget the other conversation. In this conversation, I've never called you out of your name. I've never spoken to your mental capacity. You have spoken to my mental capacity. You have judged me. Because it's wrong for you to do that. Because you want me to live in your encounter. And that's not fair. Because then that makes you God. And then can, 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 I, put, can I add a statement on that? Yeah. Had the colonialists not come here, mm. what would you be? I don't know. Exactly. You I, know, don't know. Hold on, hold on, hold I don't know. I don't know. Yes, sir. Don't claim ignorance. I mustn't claim ignorance. Follow culture. Okay. Had was there no interruption? So the, the argument here, sir, is you what? want me oh, no, no. to? Oh, no, 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 no. Hear me. No, I'm, I cannot. Me. I'm asking you a question. Yes, but I want you to follow me carefully. Mm -hmm. There's a path you were walking on. I wasn't alive. I was walking on no path. <laughs> but remember, I you, wasn't here to experience it. It's not my you path. You are your ancestors. You don't know I'm the future. I'm not your ancestors. No. They I come you. from them. Their yeah. DNA is in you. Yeah. God bless them for that. You are your ancestors. But who called you me You are your children's it? ancestor. Me? Yes. When you die, your children will refer to you as I an pray that they find their maker. Hold on a yes. minute. Hold on a minute. More than their ancestor, I pray that the they DNA find their maker. The DNA that flans in them. Sir, I agree is, with you. I'm saying you. for me personally. Sometimes sometimes being a Christian... Can you give it each other chances, it, please? That's fine. No, my risk is not going to be. Because I, I haven't called let's anybody. Have I've been called schizophrenic. I've been called... Let's this have fun. Because I have a faith point. You're on a path. You're on a path. Was there no interruption? Which was a colonial interruption which diverted your path mm. into this newly found Islamic Christianity way of expression. Mm. Had nature been left the way it was? Can I say this? Had Van der Merve not come and 1640 what had not happened? 56. Can I, can I say this? What would you be? Me, I don't know. We're having a personal uh, conversation about what faith and spirituality means to us. And I don't think we can be bulldozed with big words to believe or to take in. Black Conversations is brought to you by Castle Milk Stout. Is brought to you by Castle Milk Stout. Savor your richness. Do you all feel like there is room for our blackness? 
can we really still coexist? Can we do that? Do, do you think in this world, with yeah. the knowledge, the separate knowledge that we all have, mm. are we able to acknowledge it, accept it, and coexist? I have one suggestion, which uh, will take maturity for you to hear me. I'll speak once. I hope you're going to hear me twice. Please don't insult me in your answers. I beg. No, no, no. And I'm saying this because it's, it's a trend now. We're getting insulted and, and <laughs> undermined as if we're children. Can you speak to us with <laughs> dignity and respect? Because I, I when I... No, no, no. I See what I'm talking exactly. about? When I speak, I don't speak down on you. And I feel like you, you feel you have the... Knowledge. The knowledge and understanding, whereas in your introductions before you speak, you have to Jam. undermine... Us first. Us. And I will not accept it anymore. I will speak so once. speak for I'll yourself speak without once. referring to I'll my intellectual once. capacity, of once. which that of I have. I'll speak once. The same education that you have access to, I actually do. And just because I'm not sitting here speaking on bombastic words does not mean I'm less intellectual. So please respect me. Yes. I will pass. Thank you. You are not going to use the grown man language on me. If people feel like to express yourself within your no is being a bully, then let's opt for ignorance and cheap talk and journalism talk and street talk when we are discussing critical issues. When you go to the hospital and you are speaking to doctors and you want them to talk like taxi drivers, I was not undermining your intelligence. I hope when I was saying that, I was giving a green light to say, while I'm talking, place the information within two wavelengths of thoughts that kind of thing, by no ways. And when you say you have the same education like I had, by far difference, no. My academic background and your academic background are not together. We yeah, I mean, most probably come, because you're older, from, but disrespect I, yes, I has no place. Monastery. I give you for the respect. There's no, there's no place for disrespect, regardless of the hierarchy just, of your education. I, I was giving you a, a, a warning light. That what I was going to be saying, I want you on alert. Not that I was undermining your intelligence. If you felt insulted, my apologies. But I will not stop saying what I wanted to say. If we had to look for coherence... Oh, by the way, I'm not taking your apology, but continue. Okay, take my blood then. I am not, um, I'm not an uncircumcised theologian. I'm qualified in what I'm doing. And when I'm mentioning what I'm saying, that is not laborious. That is not tedious. That is not verbosity. That is not extra jargon, which is outside the whim and the expression of the theological space itself. Whether it is a logical expression, it's a Christological expression, anthropological theology, ecclesiological or eschatological persuasion, or parousia, and etc., which is the framework of the fundamentals of systematic theology within the framework which you are asking me. Verbosity, that's academia. Unless you want me to apologize for going to school, I beg for apology. When you know where you're coming from, and you can place your four grandparents, and the four grandparents blow up into eight, blow up into 16, and etc. And if you can come up just with a small little chart of three to four, five generations backwards, you may find that a Piri in Malawi is actually a Shoko Mukanya in Zimbabwe. Mm -hmm. It is a Kabo in Botswana. It is a Mtsweneng in Lesotho. So our lack of understanding our ethnographic connection kind of feels that we are different. And the problem is that every time we come to conversation, we define ourselves with Christian definitions. And Christianity has taken a place as if it defines you. Whereas I think that your culture must give you your identity to the land which you are involved in. Christianity becomes a practice which finds you already grounded because the ethics of your practice are not necessarily, I would rather deal with an African person who is cultured than deal with a Christian who is arrogant and rude who does not even know how to look after themselves and speak to others, who will take their Christianity as a way of whipping others and running around a mock, who does not know where their mother is and where their <laughs> uncles are. In the name that I'm in love with Jesus, who will kneel to a pastor and who never kneel in front of their own I husband. don't, I don't. Hold on, hold on, lady. Yes. Don't represent everybody. Yes. Yeah, stay in your lane. Okay. Yeah, what you don't do, others do. Okay. All right. Others will take all their money. But and you're give not to representing both. Others right? will take all their money and give to a pastor. But you're not representing both. There are some who don't, Mufundis. You can't just say, I'm speaking. I have to speak because the picture you're painting on a national platform is that Christians are one particular type. There are many denominations who do 
all sorts of things. So if you speak something and I, I'm speaking, I'm saying what you're saying as a Christian sitting next to you, I don't identify with. I can't keep quiet and say to me, it's, it's not fair for you to say, I'm, I don't speak for all. I speak for the ones that I do speak for, just like you just spoke about those who kneel. There are some who don't kneel. There are some who don't buy water. There are some who don't eat grass. There are some who don't yeah. put their bishops at the top as if they are God. There are those A who seek God truthfully and with their whole hearts. You can't put us all in one bracket. And I can't sit here as a Christian who knows that I don't bow to any human being. That's why and I said- sit and be quiet because I must, because you're older or you're, you're speaking from a specific point. It's not fair, daddy. That's why I said- And I say that with all due respect, because because you are older than me, because you are learned, <laughs> because I respect the man and who you are and the office that you hold. But I cannot sit here as young as I am in my faith and allow that to continue as though it's a representation of everyone. There are Christians who are lost, who are manipulated, who are have who've been misled. There are people who believe in ancestors who are robbed, who've been misled. And as a society represented here, the question then for me becomes, how do we make sure that the true God is presented, whether it's through your ancestors whether it's through my Jesus, how do we make sure that people know who are watching this that there are things that are wrong in both sectors and you've got to find a way to find your God and not be manipulated by anyone. And not be manipulated by anyone. But I, I don't think it's fair that, that I, we ask to keep... Sorry, I'm getting emotional because I, it's not right. That's all I can say. Anyway, but we're almost running out of time. Doc, your final words. Amen. That's what I can say. Jax? We must all try to respect the space yeah. that we all hold so that we are free to articulate our desires so that if we do need help understanding others, we are able to say, I don't understand your culture, can you teach me? Bishop? The mind of a colonized person is pathetic that we have to sit at this day and age oui, le, le. and protect a system that has vandalized and destroyed us to such an extent that we can sit around and debate its veracity within our cultural corridors. Yeah. It's a shame that we must seek for tolerance with external forces that are encroaching into our cultural space. We have never imposed African culture on the European system, but here we are as Africans fighting with each other of how to protect the colonial religious system that has invaded our space. I'm not sorry for saying what I say, but on behalf of the grandchildren that will come after me, we have an enemy in the house that has corrupted our minds. And if we pursue on this path of debate, we'll end up as coconuts, brown on the outside and white on the inside. Sir? Mm. I think for me, our beliefs as Africans if we really know God, we would allow God to transform us from the inside out, just so we can be better people. I think for me, the one thing that I've learned in this conversation or that I take out is that there are many things that I don't know that I haven't been exposed to, and that doesn't make me inferior, you know? And that my faith and my belief is justified because it's my experience, it's what I believe, and it's tangible to me, and that it's okay if the next person doesn't see it that way. I think debates like this often get very messy because we're trying to win somebody over. I am more determined of my lane than ever after this conversation, but black spirituality it is. EP award often we win most of the time as a musician. If I'm always going to be looking